How's everyone doing? Today I'll be doing a beer review for Coney Island Hard Root Beer. If you've had Coney Island Hard Root Beer, definitely let me know what you think of it as well. And this is from Coney Island Brewing Company, which is a division of Boston Brewing Company, aka Sam Adams, and it's clearly trying to capitalize on the success and popularity of Not Your Father's Root Beer. So we'll see how this one measures up. I definitely love all the design and marketing right here. Coney Island Brewing Company right there. And then on the front, you've got a big beer with a roller coaster ride going all the way around it. And it says, thrill your taste buds. And then it has a little slogan right here. Are you tall enough to ride? So I like all that. And then on the back, again, you've got all the different rides and stuff. Very fitting for the Coney Island Brewing Company. And I'll read off what it says on here on the label. Coney Island Hard Root Beer is a new twist and an old favorite with hints of vanilla, licorice, and birch. This root beer will bring you back to the boardwalk. And on the back right here, it has a little bit more. I'll go ahead and read it. The Gypsy should have predicted this. The most dignified beverage of days past reimagined for your future self. The wooden planks under your feet and a hot dog in your hand. The only difference is that now you're tall enough to ride the ride. Coney Island, where anything is possible if you're ready to hashtag take the ride. And then it's got all the social media stuff right there as well. Coney Island beer.com and then at Coney Island beer for uh, Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. But I do love all this design and marketing right here. And then you got Coney Island Brewing Company on the bottle cap, which is nice as well. Very festive and eye catching, which is why I decided to check it out. Plus, I tried uh, Not Your Father's Root Beer just before this, and I love the heck out of that. And I've heard people rave about it, so I figured I would try this as well, see how it measures up. And on the side right here, it says brewed and bottled by Coney Island Brewing Company, Brooklyn, New York, Cincinnati, Ohio, and Bringsville, Pennsylvania, in collaboration with the Boston Beer Company, at Coney Island Beer Company. Ale made with natural flavors and caramel color added. Contains alcohol. 5.8% alcohol by volume, 12 fluid ounces. So let's go ahead and open it up. And I love the inside of the bottle cap as well. Admit one like a token right there or ticket for a ride when you go to the different uh, rides right there on Coney Island. Love that, just really works everything together again with the marketing design labels. Great idea right there. The little extra added touches that I really appreciate. But let's go ahead and pour it into my glass, Overlook Hotel glass. There is a Big foamy head that is quickly dissipating. Pours a dark brown with reddish ruby hues in the light. And again, no lacing. Pours like a soda essentially, very fizzy carbonation. Let's go ahead and smell it. it smells like vanilla, but kind of artificially. And a little bit of licorice as well. Let's go ahead and taste it. Cheers. That is way too sweet. Cloyingly sweet. Grossly sweet, ugh. And on the nose, I smelt it. I was kind of surprised that it had that kind of artificial smell going on to it. And it also has that artificial taste as well. Almost kind of tastes like aspartame. You know, very prickly on the tongue. Tons of vanilla, but again, kind of like an artificial tasting vanilla. Caramel, molasses, honey, licorice. It's creamy, medium bodied. Slightly dry finish as well. You can definitely taste the alcohol here, which you couldn't taste with Not Your Father's Root Beer. Uh, it's not masked as well here. The sweetness is just too much. To me, Coney Island Hard Root Beer tastes like pinnacle root beer flavored vodka, if you've ever had that. It's got that same kind of sweetness and very similar flavor going on. And it has a bit of a smoky aftertaste to it as well. And I don't really like that aftertaste. It has like a little bit of a nastiness going on to it. It's just grossly sweet, too syrupy as well. Uh, good carbonation, uh, not as much carbonation as the typical soda though. It's smooth, uh, it doesn't go down too easy again because of the flavor and taste here. Sticky mouthfeel, no real hops here to speak of, but it does have malt undertones. I honestly, I would say zero drinkability factor though. Uh, the sweetness just kills it and just that artificial flavor to it too. The flavors aren't balanced well enough. It's too sweet. The artificial flavor doesn't work. The aftertaste is nasty. The marketing and design is fantastic, but they need to go back to the drawing board as far as the recipe goes. 
I honestly can't even finish this one. This is gross to me. I could not recommend this. Uh, it does not measure up to Not Your Father's Root Beer. And overall, I give Coney Island Hard Root Beer a 3 out of 10 stars. Again, I love the marketing design, but if they would have put as much effort into all of that as they did the recipe, you could have actually had something here. But it just doesn't work. Nobody should have to drink this one. This was just a big disappointment. I was really excited coming off Not Your Father's Root Beer. I was hoping it would be something very similar to that. And it just doesn't measure up at all. And uh, I could not recommend this one at all. Very disappointed. And just the flavors here just do not mix well. And I just feel kind of gross in my stomach now from just drinking just a little bit of this. I'm just like, ugh. So there you go. There's my review on Coney Island Hard Root Beer. Very disappointing. Let me know if you've had Coney Island Hard Root Beer and what you think of it as well. Leave me a comment or video response down below. Hope everyone's doing well. Take care.